a bomb jacket. It's a bomber jacket indeed. Hello everyone, this is Vishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's marvelous design course, we will learn how to create a bomber jacket pattern just like you can see here. And usually there are some interesting uh, like patterns, like suppose here you can see crosshatched and sometimes it's in the straight uh, line. So let's see how to create that uh, like this in marvelous designer. So I have here this avatar wearing this uh, plain jacket and we will convert this jacket into a bomber jacket so i will only create the front uh, part rest you can do by yourself and see how it will work it's a simple uh jacket that we created in our few lessons so first thing is to decide what kind of a pattern you want so let's do cross hatched pattern so we have to first draw a pattern and then we have to clone over the same front side okay to make it thicker but first thing first is to create the uh internal polygon lines here to create that uh, hatch so first from here i will make one line okay with the shift key so it will be straight uh, like diagonal then press enter once it is done what i will do is that i will just uh, take my editor pattern tool i will right click on it and i will offset as internal line okay increase the distance so I think a little bit more and then add a little uh, more and more here. So it will cover the whole jacket. I press OK. Now once you will see, uh, once you will press OK, you can see that they are not quite uh, covering the whole front part. So you can manually do that by, uh, you know, selecting this and going to the corner and pulling this down uh, from this end and to other end like this but it will take a lot of time there are a lot of lines over there so the best way to do is to just select all whatever is selected it's usually pre-selected whenever you press whenever you uh, offset them and press ok they are pre-selected so you can just you just have to right click over uh, on that choose extend uh, trim option then extend trim to pattern outline as soon as you will click on it what it will do is that it will trim it to the outline of your uh jacket okay there are few here i don't know why uh, why, why they're here you don't be there now some of them are missing okay because it couldn't cover the whole thing so simple right click here and do the offset again but this time I don't want it a lot. Just this much. Press OK. As soon as you press OK, as I told you, they are pre-selected. Right click, extend, trim, trim uh, and do pattern outline. That's all. Now, this is one side. So I have to create the another side here. So I have to go back here. Click with the shift key here. Press enter. And then I will... Uh, take my edit pattern tool right click on it and offset this one as well but it's going down so i have to reverse the direction of it okay increase the number okay this is enough right click extend trim to pattern outline okay done some are missing here so i will take this right click on it offset pattern okay this a lot so this uh, two is enough right click extend trim to pattern outline then here we go we got this okay now what uh if i will press uh if if i will simulate it right now you can see that there is no interesting effect here but if i will take this whole thing okay right click on it and then clone a uh, layer clone over so it will create a uh, like a clone over the top of the one that I have it here. Once I will do that, okay, so this will become thick. Apart from that, each line that we have created, if I go to edit sewing or so, you can see each line that we have created are sewed to each other, okay? 
Like this one is so to this one, this one is to this one. So they are so to each other. And this sewing will create a very interesting effect. So if I will simulate it now, I will press spacebar, okay, to simulate it. And you can see a really nice, interesting looking effect. Okay, almost we are there. But to make it more interesting, what we can do now is that, first turn off the simulation. We have to unlink this because if I will make this uh, under part smaller, the outer parts will also become smaller and that's not uh, what we want. So I will select this, right click on it and remove linking. Here also right click on it, remove linking. So I will double, uh, I will select these two and link these two. Similarly, these two, I will link it. But as soon I will do that, because this is now symmetrical to this one, there was a uh, like stitch over here, which is now gone. So if I will uh, simulate it, so you will see it will fall down. So that I have to fix it, which is very simple. You just have to take the segment sewing tool and stitch it. That's all. Okay. Because when uh, I uh, use the symmetric on both of them, so what happened, uh, whatever settings were here is replaced by this one. So that sewing is, uh, was gone. So now it's back again. And now I can take these two, okay, and make them smaller. So if I will make them smaller, they will start pulling the bigger one. And when it will start pulling the bigger one, it will create wrinkles around these lines. Okay. So if you will make it a little bit more smaller, so you will get a very nice touch over here. You can see that. Okay. You have some good wrinkles coming up here. Okay. So that's sort of an effect you can get when, uh, you, can, uh, when you will make this smaller. Other than that, what else we can do is that we can take the Edit Pattern tool, take these patterns and add some elasticity to it, okay? But not too uh, harsh, like it's too uh, strong here. So we can reduce the strength to maybe uh, three or uh, five, let's see, I think. Strength is not affecting that much. Maybe we have to increase the ratio. So maybe 92. Okay, yeah, now it makes sense. Okay, so ratio will uh, give some sort of a nice touch to it. Next, what we can do is just we can take the top parts, right click over the, uh, them and superimpose over. Oops. This is a bug, usually happens all the time. I don't know what, uh, why is that happens. Right click, superimpose over, so right click, superimpose over. And yeah, we got it. Okay. So one or more a way of creating the, or uh, like one more way of making this interesting is by applying pressure. To apply pressure, you have to select the front part and then below, if you will go uh, down somewhere here, you have a pressure option. What it do is that it fills air to it. If I will uh, write here five, you will notice it's filling air inside. If I will go 10, it will fill more air. So 10 is fine. Otherwise it will look like a balloon. Still now it looks like a balloon. I think it's, it's too much. So maybe three. Okay, or maybe three is also too much, so maybe one. Okay, apart from that, the inner one, I think it's too small. So why, why not we make it a little bigger? Not too small and not too big. Okay. This kind of looks better. 
and what else we can do here is that we can increase its uh, particle distance this uh, 10 right now or we can select the whole thing and make it 5 Okay, as soon you will make it five, what else you can do is that let's make a new fabric here and give it uh, like a fabric which matches the nylon uh, like effect. Usually these uh, bomber jackets are made of nylons or polyester, sometimes cotton also. But these are the common ones. So I will go in here in the custom. Let's see. So I will choose ni I will choose a nylon uh, canvas. Okay, and what I will do here is that I will select all of them, apply this to all of them. There are easier way to do that, but I'm just doing them one by one. So to make sure each one have this fabric. Okay. Simulate it. So just, we have to wait a little while and here we go. So a really nice former jacket. There are sort of a lot of wrinkles here, strong wrinkles, because it's a canvas. And if I will go here and change this uh, instead of canvas to a nylon, instead of nylon canvas to nylon uh, lightweight, featherweight. So it will become something like this. It depends on what kind of material you're using. Okay. And also you can change the elasticity or uh, elasticity and some those sort of things here. So I hope you have liked this uh, way of creating uh, like uh, the bomber jacket. Okay. And if you have liked this tutorial, this video, so please, uh, like this uh like hit the like button and if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon and to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will de demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also.